We all know that catnip offers a joyous playtime for our cats and can potentially alleviate stress and anxiety. But is it all there is to catnip? Is this herb addictive? Why does it make some cats aggressive? And what cats can catnip actually be dangerous to? Keep watching to find out what catnip really does to your cat. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all things cats. Now let's get started. You've seen that sudden burst of energy when they sniff catnip? Catnip, scientifically known as Nepeta cataria, belongs to the mint family. The real magic lies in a compound found in catnip called nepetalactone. Once a cat gets a sniff of this compound, it can induce a state of euphoria, making them roll, leap, and purr. But why does this happen? It's all about how nepetalactone interacts with their nasal tissue, triggering a response in their brain that mimics feline pheromones. This tricks their brain into behaving as if they are responding to these natural happy hormones. But here's a fun twist. Despite the popularity of catnip amongst our whiskered companions, not all cats feel its effects. About 30% of cats are completely indifferent to it. This sensitivity to catnip isn't random, it's actually inherited and tied to a special catnip gene. So if their parent didn't react to catnip, it's likely they won't either. Moreover, the age of a cat can also play a role. Kittens below the age of 3 months typically show no interest in catnip. This is because the response to catnip is sexual in nature. That's why kittens who are too young to have reached sexual maturity don't respond to it. On the other end of the spectrum, senior cats, especially those with health issues, may show a decreased interest in catnip. Just like in humans, sensory responses can dull with time, and this includes the response to the aroma of catnip. But there's a shadowy aspect to this seemingly innocent herb. Some cats might react with aggression or get overly excited and potentially get injured. Keep watching, as later in this video we're going to delve deeper into this dark side of catnip and share how to ensure your cat's catnip experience remains safe and enjoyable. Now let's get a bit more into the science behind catnip and its connection to a cat's sexual behavior, because it's honestly pretty amazing. Picture your cat when they're interacting with catnip. They're rolling around, rubbing their face in it, maybe even drooling a bit. They seem euphoric and out of this world. This behavior may seem a bit odd until we delve into the neuroscience behind it. The fascinating thing is that these behaviors aren't just random, they're surprisingly similar to how a female cat acts when she's in heat. And that's not a coincidence. When a cat gets a whiff of catnip, the same neural pathways in their brain are activated that come into play during sexual behavior. Let's break it down. As we talked earlier, catnip has this ingredient called nepetalactone. Think of it like the cat magnet inside the catnip. So when a cat sniffs it, this nepetalactone enters their nose and sticks to some special receptors in there. This is like flipping a switch that fires up their sensory neurons, or nerve cells. Then, the excitement starts. These nerve cells pass the message onto a part of their brain, known as the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is a super important part of the brain that does a lot of jobs. It plays a significant role in behaviors linked with survival, feeding, drinking, emotional responses, and, you guessed it, sexual behavior. So when your cat is going wild with a catnip toy, they're exhibiting behaviors that are usually associated with a female cat in heat. The rolling, rubbing, and purring, it's all part of this responsive reaction. But remember, even though the behaviors are similar, catnip does not act as an aphrodisiac. Your spayed or neutered cat isn't suddenly going to want to mate when they're exposed to catnip. Instead, they're responding to the same triggers that a cat in heat would, hence the similar behaviors. To really get a grip on this, let's dive into an incredible study. Scientists used MRI scans to see what's really going on in a cat's brain when they're under the influence of catnip. They observed significant activity in areas associated with emotions and reward. Catnip basically sends your cat's pleasure centers into overdrive. And here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that catnip also repels mosquitoes? Quite a stark contrast from how it attracts our feline friends. It's so effective that some studies show it's even better than some commercial mosquito repellents. Now let's talk about the dark side of catnip. There are a few things we need to keep in mind. First off, aggression. While some cats are rolling around in a state of bliss, others might get a bit feisty. 
especially male cats. Scientists believe it's because the active ingredient in catnip, nepidolactone, mimics cat pheromones. This can sometimes result in male cats becoming territorial. If your cat becomes a little too feisty, it's best to not give them catnip altogether. And if you have a pregnant cat at home, hold off the catnip. Some studies suggest it might trigger contractions. Definitely not what we want for our soon-to-be kitty mommies. Now a question we hear a lot, is it okay for cats to eat catnip? Absolutely. Cats can eat catnip and it's totally safe. In fact, some cats prefer to munch on it rather than just sniff it. But remember, just because they can, doesn't mean they should go on a catnip eating spree. That brings us to the next point, can cats overdose on catnip? Technically, yes, but it's super rare. If cats eat a lot of catnip in one go, they might get an upset stomach, throw up, or seem overly sleepy. It's less about sniffing, more about eating. But here's the good news. Most cats are savvy. They know when they've had enough and will back off. For our peace of mind though, a half to one teaspoon per day should be just fine for an adult cat. If you think your cat has consumed too much, just remove the catnip, give them fresh water and a cozy spot to rest. So we've established that catnip is a total cat magnet. But scientists also came to a conclusion it isn't actually harmful to your cat's health. Those wild jumps and flips? All part of the fun! Your cat isn't doing any harm to their health by going a little loco over catnip. Actually, it's quite the opposite. That physical exercise they get from the catnip frenzy, it's good for them. It's a bit like a mini workout for your cat. And can cats get addicted to catnip? The answer is no. Catnip isn't chemically addictive like some substances can be for humans. It simply triggers happy sensors in your cat's brain, giving them a joy rush, but without creating a need or dependency. And did you know that there are some shocking reasons why cats do some of their strange behaviors? Check out this video, where we explain 10 of the weirdest cat behaviors.